Feature Friday. The freshest. Uh -huh. So, all James performs Latina. Yeah, so you're a Latina. I am Latina. And he's talking about them or singing about them. Nice. So I thought, well, this is the first time actually we check out. I like already. Is it AI James or Al James? Um, I, I think it's AL. Could be AI or AL. AL. Auto generated in Spanish, not. All oh, right, but yeah, so we, we thought we'll have this go. It was requested, and obviously, because of the title. And it and was guys... really requested to like to be very honest, and, though. And you guys know our background, you know, we're, we're from South America and stuff, so the whole Latino thing. So, it, yeah. <laughs> let's go, Latina gang. Let's, let's have it. A, give it a let's, watch. let's have it a listen. I want to make an intro like that. Me too. Yeah. Boo, boo, boo. Ooh. He got, he got, oh, yeah, yeah. he got style though. So deep. It's a vibe and a half. Interesting choice to just have a guitarist, right? Yeah. It's low key hard though, like low key. Vibe. Hey, Fred, tell me what the hell he's talking about. Bro, that song is. That's Brother! I, I could do with a bit more of that electric guitar mixed a little bit. Yeah, a bit higher. That. Higher on that mix. I could have I pushed know, it a little bit. Thing is, more. I have found out that our speakers suck. Oh, yes, that's also true. Like, we literally get no mids or highs here. No, we just get bass. Literally. Bass. <laughs> I've, I've just found out, because we also mix our own music and make our own music, and I was like, this sounds off. You yeah. Know? And then, like, well, let me find some other monitor and stuff. And then it turns out it's just the speakers are trash. <laughs> I'm also not going to mention the brand. Not to sneak mm. on them, but it, it would, it would good. they were good for, for what they were, but now yeah. they're just it's trash. I think also our, our demands of the speaker have evolved and changed. And yeah. it's not just for movies anymore, you know. Uh, no translation, right? No. Oh no, there is. Yay! Yay! It says, "Let's all oh, right. Let's do it in a discreet way, even if it lacks air. Then cough. If we mesh, if we measure it, if we measure, oh, so it's obviously translated literally from the underground. The air will, the air will lack if we go away." You talk a lot, she pretends she don't like it, your eyes twinkled like you don't want to get involved, and it goes down to your throat. It's up to you if you want more. The time is running out. I don't want to leave here. We'll arrive if you need me. Just dial the number and call me if you don't call me if you don't have it. I'll give you even if you I'll give you even if you how much you want it. It's obviously translated literally, so yeah. apologies I'm murdering some of these lyrics. You just call me when you're ready, call me when you don't have other people in your home. Call me when call me if you don't have it, I'll give you even if you want it. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a sexy song. It's a sexy song. <clears throat> well, it fits the whole Latina thing because they seductive sort of that, Latin trap. That, yeah, that reggaeton feel like Latin trap Which idea. Which is very raw well, and, and sort of uh, uh, lyrically, it's more about yeah, you're sort of the sexy time. Yeah, you're explaining in the most crude, raw way what you'd like to do to the significant other. That's right. That is that is right. I I I'd actually. This beat is hard as hell, man. I like that beat too. Yeah, I'd, I'd even, I'd even, I don't know. I want to, I want to know who made the beat. I'd love to make like a, like a Spanish thing Oof, to it. It's good. It has a really nice Latin flair to it. Even the ad libs are fire. Ooh, the guitar! You jump up the volume of it. Yeah. Ooh. Very interesting the fact that he's just decided to bring an electric guitar. I know. 
Santana, it, you know, it, the influences are very, very clear. It, you know, and it, it maybe hence the name Latina and all this stuff. Um, Ooh, but it's good. But um, what's what's interesting is that, again, in very few occasions will you can you think, and I'm sure we have a lot of hardcore rap fans watching, and not just of America, from all over the world. Um, I don't think I can count. I can probably count them just with one hand, or maybe three fingers. Um, the amount of times I've seen rappers bring a particular instrument in to add some sort of flair or sparkle or to destroy the monotony in the way that they may rap. Like, for example, when you rap in a monotone mm -hmm. tone, it's gonna be, it may become redundant. So bringing an electric guitarist with some ton of flair in his hands, it makes it, it, makes it a show. Like, it, that's a completely different performance. That's right. It could have been a, like a seven... Right, but it immediately went above that because you've bring you've brought such a talented musician with with a, with a, that adds a different you know fire spark to to the song. Yeah, I don't think I can I can think of another rapper right now that has done that in maybe in the last five years that in a live performance. Let me just bring an electric guitarist. Let me let that be the other element that will be featured. Yeah, yeah. I don't I think I have th seen it. I can think of beats, and I can think of rappers that have rapped with electric guitars in the beat. But not that have utilized in this manner. But also, yeah. it's very South American. It's very you know, it is. Very... It's very Latino. Yeah. So I don't know. I like the guy. And yeah, I, I, I like not... that. I think I think that was really nice for what it is. It's a really good get ready song. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. Yeah, if anyone knows who the producer was, do let me know. I'd love to draw him a text. That's a nice beat, man. That's fire. Yeah. I love or that. him. 